Cal Art of Sports. We're here with Arthur Better BF trainer John Scully. Man, tell me. Um, assistant trainer. Assistant trainer, sorry. <laughs> I see you holding the pad, yeah, so yeah, you're, yeah. you're getting the hard work on the hands, I see. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, Man, what's uh, t t talk about his power? Obviously, 17 and 0, 17 knockouts. I, I want to say, at least from what from my recollection, I don't know another unified light heavyweight champion who's been undefeated and had a 100 percent knockout ratio. Right? Yeah, I don't I don't remember any. He um, well, I, we, I always tell people whenever they ask me about his power, I always tell them this: I talk to the sparring partners because I drive them to the gym and take them back, and. They all just, you know, the descriptions they give me. One guy, well, I'll tell you what, Lonnie David, I mean, Lonnie, um, they call him Lonnie B, Lionel Thompson. He will tell you himself. He said he got hit by a car a few years ago. He said sparring, sparring with Arthur was worse than getting hit by a car. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. That, that, once I heard that, I said, okay, now I see why everybody's, you know, talking like they do. And he also kind of, more recently, has been kind of uh, laying off them a little bit, right? You're saying because I, I remember seeing in the countdown something yeah. about, like, guys well, end up going home. Well, I'll tell you what happened. It's, it's a funny thing. When he was getting ready to fight Marcus Brown, we worked every day on the left hook to the body. So on the mitts, you know, I got him really cracking. So, but in sparring, I noticed he's like, he's not really following following through. So I said, Arthur, man, you know, you gotta dig, man. You gotta dig like you do in the mitts. And he goes, but if I do that, everybody go home. And I go, I go, good point, good point. So in the fight, if you heard in the corner, I, that's what people ask me, well, what did you mean by that? Because I said, I said, you know how you didn't want to uh, send those guys home? Send this guy home, you know, because, because I, you know, you don't have to take it easy on Marcus Brown. Right. And, uh, so yeah. yeah, but it was funny. He, um, because I wasn't thinking that, you know, I'm just thinking kill, kill, kill. And he's like, yeah, but everybody will go home if I do that. <laughs> Oh, man, he's a smart guy. You gotta, yeah, keep, yeah, gotta sure. keep these guys around. <laughs> right. uh, man, looking at this fight on Saturday, uh, an incredible yeah, unification. Yeah. Does Arthur get maybe uh, uh, more excited when it's a guy like Joe Smith that you know you don't really have to look for t too much? I mean, he likes that. You know, I'll tell you yeah. funny thing. Yeah. He doesn't really know who Joe Smith is. <laughs> like, he doesn't watch boxing. Like, like he the only time he's ever seen Joe Smith is when we went in the gym and we showed him a tape. Like, all right, watch this. And so he watches it. But he relies on us to do it. So he's not a boxing fan. He doesn't watch boxing at all. So uh, he, he doesn't, you know, it, it's kind of cool because he doesn't care. Like, you're just a guy that they told him, told him he has to fight. Is that, I, I mean, I, I, you're a professional former fighter as, as well. Like, did you, were you kind of like that as well? Just, uh, just all, I knew everybody. I knew all the fight. Right? Yeah, I knew everybody. Yeah, no, but he, I mean, Arthur's not a boxing fan. He doesn't, when I say he doesn't know, he doesn't know who they are. Like, I'll, if I asked him Tank Davis, he could, if Tank Davis walked up to him, he'd go, oh, hi, hello. <laughs> he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> it's, it's funny. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, the, the winner of this fight is, a lot of people are going to be calling for for them to fight uh, Dimitri Bivol. Right, right. Um, just firstly, what do you think of Bivol's performance against Canelo, and um, and is that Archer's plan to become undisputed? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously a magnificent you know performance, and you know, I think it was a surprise to a lot of people. Uh, but yeah, Arthur, you know, like I say, he he doesn't go after people. He goes after the belt. Whoever's got the belt, that's who he wants to fight. And uh, like I said, he doesn't, it's it's amusing to me. He doesn't really know who these guys are. You know, he knows Bavol because of, uh, you know, being from Russia and that mm -hmm. type of thing. But other guys, he, he doesn't even know who they are. Do they have any history uh, in the amateurs or anything like that, Bavol and, and Arthur? I don't believe so. I think is a little younger and uh, so they came up in a different class. Uh, oh, okay. I, I, I never heard him say anything Usyk about it. Yeah, Usyk. Yeah, Usyk and Arthur fought three times. In the amateurs? Yeah, yeah. Arthur, oh, Arthur how won go? once. Arthur won one and Usyk uh, won two. But Arthur dropped him one time in one of the fights. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, just yeah. being that you brought that up, I got a notification that that rematch is set. Uh, Joshua versus Usyk, August 20th, I believe, in Saudi Arabia. Well, yeah. this guy works in the corner with Usyk. Hey, there we go. So you probably <laughs> he, he knew that already. <laughs> he, he could tell you more about it. Right. <laughs> uh, just quickly, what do you think about that fight? Uh, I mean, I, I like Usyk, you know, because his similar, you know, similar to Fury in like he, his he's unorthodox, he's athletic, you know. Most guys in heavyweights aren't, aren't that way. As big a punchers as they are, you know, they're not fluid and that type of thing. And I think I think Usyk is always, always, always going to be a problem. 
for, yeah, for him. Yeah, great, great fighter, great yeah, fighter. Yeah, for sure. Uh, John, thank you so much for your time, man. Best of luck awesome. on Saturday. Uh, tell the fans uh, where they could follow you or the gym or what, you know, whatever uh, always you on, on social media. You know, Facebook, uh, I have John the Iceman Scully, and the Iceman is one word. And then I also have a second page, Iceman John Scully. And then on Twitter and Instagram, Iceman John Scully. And uh, we do a lot of boxing talk on there every day. So I, I invite everyone to come check it out. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time, brother. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Thank you.